Today's video is brought to you by Movement. Woohoo! Movement is one of the fastest growing watch companies in the world. And I really like these guys because they really remind me of us. They were started by two broke college kids and they had a dream and they built a whole company. And when we first built JK, we were just two broke college kids and we thought of building a comedy production company. So it's really cool to see someone else grow it into a company that sold two million watches worldwide. That's insane. That's a lot of money. What I like about these guys is they believe that fashion should not break the bank. I'm frugal, okay? I love this idea because you know why? I don't like to spend thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on clothing, but I still want to look up to date and I still want to look clean. So they provide watches like this, which are very nice in style, very clean, but it's also affordable. What's super dope about them is uh, most of their watches cost about a hundred bucks and they're really, really nice and it comes in this really cool packaging. So they recently came out with the Nomadland colorway. This one's the Chrono Watch and it's made for nomads. Oh, it's a Japan movement. Oh, damn, that's nice. That's good, man. And this one's for female, also in the Nomad colorway. This one's called the Nova for women. I really like the minimalist design too because what this says is, you know what? This guy knows fashion, but he's not all trying to be in your face getting attention every day. That's what I like, bam. And tell me the time, tell me the time. Oh, and there's a date too, tell me the date. Thank you. I like watches with dates. Every single one of my watch tells a date because I have to know. Especially if you're on a date. So you Are you gonna be on any dates soon, Joe? <laughs> See how cute she is? They also have a variety of all kinds of watches on the website with metal straps, leather straps, different colored dials and faces and bezels. So make sure you go check that out. In addition to these wonderful variety of watches, something I really like is they have sunglasses. This is my assassin style. Bam, so now you can get stylish with your sunglasses and watches all in one place. Especially when you're on the job and you have to get a high profile client because you're about to save a whole country. So to get 15% off and get free shipping and free returns, go to mvmt.cc slash just kidding news. Link in the description below, pow, 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 pow. Get some watches, get some sunglasses for yourself, for your loved ones and pass them around. So I saw this subreddit, Am I the Asshole? You know it's all over. I like those. So there's this one that is titled, Would I be the asshole if I didn't go to a wedding because bride and groom want guests to sit through a timeshare? So pretty much. <laughs> what the, the fuck? What do, you mean, what do you mean by sitting like through a presentation? Like a presentation? Yeah, like a timeshare presentation. Oh, fuck I that. Feel. Fuck that. Yeah. No. That's fucking wild. But because it got the bride and groom free shit, I bet, right? So let me read the. Oh. Let me read it for you. So That's funny, dude. Okay, That's so that. trash, dude. I, I want to go just for the adventure. I would go to that. Yeah. Okay, so this is what it says. Been a lurker on this thread for a it's while so and funny. recently showed it to my best friend. She wanted me to post this on behalf of her. My friend Katie, who's 29, and her boyfriend Tim, who's 31, are invited to a wedding. The bride and groom are friends of Tim. They live in the same apartment complex, so they've established a fairly strong friendship from what I'm told. Tim is not standing up at the wedding, so no incredibly important role. I think that may be important for the context. So, the bride and groom are having a destination wedding in Cancun. Katie has been hesitant to go for a few reasons, the obvious one being finances. Flight and hotel would be at least a thousand, and she'd have to take at least three days off of work because the wedding is on 420, which is a Monday. Uh, also, Katie is not close with the bride and groom. Her boyfriend, Tim, wants her to go to make a vacation out of it. Here's the kicker though. The bride and groom want guests to sit through a timeshare in order to come, like it's part of the package or something. I told Katie that when you sit through a timeshare, you were supposed to get something out of it, like a free trip, a hotel room, etc. She has never sat through a timeshare before, so I think this was news to her. We both already think it's tacky. Once she told me that she still has to pay for everything for her trip. Oh. So I said that I think the bride and groom are kind of scamming their guests. Maybe the bride and groom are reaping some sort of benefits from guests attending a timeshare while said guests yes. receive no benefits of doing so. It's been a long time since I sat through one, so I'm not sure. And they ain't I'm doing it because it's fun. I told her I'd put my foot down and not go because that's absurd to ask of your guests. She then asked me to post this thread. 
to ask if she would be the asshole. No. Oh, uh, the bride and groom got all expenses paid. They're like, hey, we want to have our wedding here, and we're going to bring 10 people with us to this timeshare. And I'm like, you bring 10 people. Maybe we'll more. give you the hotel and the flight, and you go uh, ATV ride. They got a fucking for sure. wedding for sure. And everybody else is getting stiffed and has to hear about it. Because this. everyone else actually has to pay for it. When they do these timeshare, um, come stay in Hawaii for free. Yeah. And then you, you're literally just listening to the pitch for like three days straight. You're not yeah. enjoying Hawaii. Well, I mean, usually yeah. it's just one day, though. Usually yeah. it's like one day for like two to four hours for the most part. You sat through one of these? I have definitely got a free trip to Cabo from the timeshare, absolutely. <laughs> and was there any other additional unwanted baggage you had to put up with after? No. Well, he doesn't I, like his timeshare now. I, I definitely didn't buy, but. You're smarter uh, than me. Yeah, I, I got, we got hella perks. We got the ATV, we did right. scuba, scuba diving for free, and we got a tour of the island for free, all for sitting through the timeshare, and our hotel was free. So all we had to do wow. was pay for our flight. Basically, that the hotel was a way better deal. Oh, hell yes, dude. Casey and I, we okay, me, it's my fault, but we you ended up bought it. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> fucking gullible mullable over here. I know. Listen, I was way younger, way stupider, and way broker, which I shouldn't have bought. That's more of a reason not to buy it. Where was it? A million dollars. Where was it? Sign me up. No, no, no. Okay, so this is how even dumber it is. Okay. It wasn't an actual timeshare, they were vacation points. Or you can, yeah, it's so stupid. We still have it. What by is the it? Way. What is what's it? Is it? So, um, so you end up like joining this stupid ass thing. What's the name of it? Uh, I don't know. RCI. They yeah. got me too. RCI. I know exactly which is I. Wait, are you fucking around? I'm not. How do you call her? Gullible you just mullible? said that because you, she you said timeshare. I didn't know it was the vacation package club. I'm in the same thing. No, you're not. I swear to God, they tell you this is what they tell you. They say, hey man, we have all of these properties over all of these countries. So it's like oh, he thought she was a sucker, things, right? And so I'm like, great. Like at first I was like, fuck no, fuck no. Judge her. I I know. I love how you thought some you got something better. Oh my God, like, you got something. You're all like. That's worse than a timeshare. It's worse. It's, it's worse. so bad. You still pay for this shit. Yes. And listen, here's it's the thing. Oh, oh my god. Here's the, <laughs> here's the thing. They were like, they were like, I talked to this one guy. He's like, yeah, man, I totally got it. And what I do is I just like, I, I, I use my points for like a week, and then I put that room up on Airbnb, and then people pay me for it. Man, we tried to do that shit. That shit does not fucking work that simple. First of all, most of the time you have to check in the place, but like you oh. can like sell it like. You can sell your point. You it sounds like a hassle point. too, though. And the, but then this is what sold me. They was like, and it's willable. So if you die, yeah, you can pass something. I was like, oh, I can give it to my kid. Yo, holy oh, shit. Have you used it? Have That's you used it? Not fucking uh, uh, once. Not once. You guys are fucking not getting caught. Oh. Not once. I'm fucking RCI played me so bad, man. When does it end? Uh, I think it was like thirty-five hundred dollars. So I thought you were better than this. I thought I was too. Yours I drank the Kool-Aid. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yours is cheaper. Yeah. Like five thousand. Oh, they got you. Wait, and you're still paying. They got you too. Shut the fuck up. Oh. No, I paid it off already. Mine was cheaper. Oh, you paid it off? So I paid it off. For you. Well, hold on. Oh. Every year oh. they charge an annual fee, right. and that fee goes up every fucking what's year. What's the What's the annual fee? I don't know. Did you even you use it? it? I'm gonna transfer it. I'm gonna try to find somebody. I'm a, I'm finna do the fucking thing that they do. I'm Invite some people and I'm like, hey, this is what I got. Who wants to buy it? I, I'm sure the I can't do that shit because like, can you give it to Isaac, have him pay because you can will it, right? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's your problem. Like, he doesn't like have a job. Hurt. He doesn't have a job, so he yeah. can't pay for it. No, so like Casey's oh dad looked God, into like guys. lawyers and trying yeah, to how the fuck do you get out of this shit? And he gave me all this, re all these resources, and then he pretty much said like. The only way you can really get out of this is if you somehow prove that you are no longer, like you're pretty much homeless, that mm -hmm. you can't pay for it. Oh. Or if you pass this on to someone else I to did. get rid of it, I'm like, I can't do that I anyone. Did. I'll just fucking swallow it. Oh well. Like, I'm nah, fuck that. I'm gonna find somebody, I'm gonna sell this fucking shit, bro. I'm like, look, I already paid for it. All you have to do is keep up the annual fees. I just don't want it. There's money. some sick companies that can help you with that, though. I, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you specific about. lawyers that, that specialize in that, like yeah. getting rid of your timeshare. Yeah, oh, fucking RCI. Yeah. I love how you made fun of her, and you're like, you got a timeshare, sucker. Oh, this man RCI is down. Shit, Listen, this RCI is, shit is worse than a timeshare, though. It's yeah. worse. Bad, don't bro. ever get it, guys. At least with a timeshare, you own a piece of property. Yeah. School, yeah. make them feel oh, even man. worse, Joe. Make them feel even worse. This supposedly, like, we do have. You guys keep shitting on it. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I like it. Go, Joe. 
literally have started thinking about how to make a video to just shit on RCI so fucking bad. I think we just to did it. Point, to the point where they don't want me as a, like, to be, I fucking hate RCI, man. They're so man. used to it, because yeah. to them, exactly. there's so many people out there. Oh, like, they are. After the fact, I looked into it, and I'm like, oh my god, This is financial rape. Like, this, this is, is like the gray area of law before law catches up to, like, what's really happening. Yeah. This is what this is. It was a scheme. Yeah. It's a pyramid scheme, or some type of, not pyramid, but it's a yeah, scheme. Something. You guys fucking took us for the ringer, man. No, but RCI. yours was way better, because you know what they did for us? What? We ended up sitting through <laughs> a, a, what is it called, presentation yeah. in Encino, and then they said that they were going to send us to Hawaii, so I'm like, cool, sign us up for Hawaii. Yeah. And then they, like, in order to book this Hawaii trip, they wanted us to take a flight from here to Seattle to Arizona to some other bullshit. Like, pretty much they were painting, like, how horrible this flight would be if I didn't pay extra to, like, upgrade it to get a direct flight. And I was like, fuck that, I'm not going to do that. And then they got so pissed and they hung up on me. But I was like, you know what? We're still going to Hawaii. And that was the, the Hawaii trip that we all took. That first one yeah. was because we were supposed to go for the timeshare bullshit. And they said that they were going to give us a free trip to Spain or like a selection of Malaga. different countries. We mm. were going to go to Malaga. But then after we found out what happened with Hawaii, we're like, fuck this. We don't want to deal with it. But by then it was too late. We already yeah. signed our life away. So I'm like, fuck. Oh, dude. Man, I gotta see if they're on Twitter, dude. I'm finna shit on RCI so bad on Twitter. I completely forgot about it until we started talking about it. I'm like, yeah, fuck RCI. I'm finna hashtag the fuck out of RCI. Well, once a year, you remember when you get hit with that. <laughs> That's true. Or maybe you do the monthly. Maybe you remember every, every, every on the third. You're like, fuck! I'm still paying for it, so yeah, I remember every month. Yeah. Well, how did they get you to here? Where did you go? Oh, free trip. My, my shit was just in the valley. It was on Ventura. You guys probably went to the you, same seven. Free trip to the the, the valley? <laughs> no, like that's that's what they uh, that's what the presentation was. But they promised us. Actually, that, that my trip to Cabo was from from. Uh, from oh, so you got a free trip? I got oh, the free trip. A thirty-five hundred dollar Cabo trip. <laughs> Yeah, basically, dude. My in-laws, in the long run, yes. My in-laws got a timeshare, but in like fucking San Luis Obispo. Why? So, right. Why? So it's like, so like, you know what's really cool is like, yeah, like this one's cheaper, but then you can trade with people who get like the Hawaii one. It's so like, yeah, oh, who the I fuck's gonna trade? Nobody with? fucking trades for San Luis Obispo. Nobody. Nobody. I think the only type of people that get like uh, desert timeshares out here are like Canadians that are escaping the winter. Yeah. True. Are uh, people who were raised in Arizona and just love that heat. Yeah. Are people trying to go to Coachella? Or yeah. that. That's true. No, I, re I, I just remember too. I know, me too. I was trying to think of the next org. <laughs> oh I remember we did get a free room in Vegas, and then that's when we all went again. Was that the same thing? Yeah, it was because of, we, and then we had to sit there. Oh, yeah, you guys had to escape oh, for that one right. day. To go yes, to the that was that one day, and we're like, no. No, no, we already been suckered into this once before. We just came Man. for the free room. <laughs> Like, leave us they alone. fucking got me, bro. <laughs> but how is it suckered if y'all are saying yes? Because, well, because you know. they, use, they use aggressive sales tactics. Yes. Yeah. Where and it's like, bait and switch, dude. Like, yeah. they tell you how easy it is to book the room and all of this shit and book last minute and you see how much this is versus it. And I'm thinking, like, I was more so in it because of the last minute bookings for travel. Because, like, they went on, like, um, Hilton and Weston and all that shit, and they showed how much it would be if you yeah. book something like within 30 days. They did like, that with us too. Man, I was like, oh yeah, that's fucking perfect because I'm traveling right now, I'm on tour, this is perfect for this. So, I, man, I did that shit afterwards, and I was like, this fucking $3 cheaper than Priceline. I was so pissed. It's so much bait and switch with them. Nice. Like, there has to be something legal that they're illegal that they're doing. Well, because they're promising so, some shit that isn't real. It's, it's, it's hella bait and switch, but I know. The technical jargon that they're gonna use, but oh well, you know we always give them the option. Oh, fuck that, they they played us. Well, and they can afford the finest lawyers. Oh, the Be finest. Because you guys are subsidizing their lawyers. Yeah, we're exactly. paying for their lawyers, Ugh. and we have to pay for our own. Yeah. But. Is it a, is it the, the fee is a tax deductible? Can you use it to like on your taxes somehow? I don't know. I don't Question. know. I think if you, if you were using it for like rental property, like if you were putting it on Airbnb, you might be able to like to deduct it. It's a business. It's gigantic, by the way. The, yeah. In this industry, timeshare, oh, or, or timeshare industry, diet. gigantic, and it's all about preying on poor people, offering them free, cheap things, <laughs> and then using jargon and, and pushy stuff. When is timeshare ever a good idea? I've never heard anyone. I've say, never heard it. I love my timeshare. No, no, Actually, I will say this: no. timeshare, depending on where it is, and certain packages are good. Like when I used to work at the jail, there was this lady named Miss Liz. And she would sell people her, her her rooms or her points. I actually got points for her 
for this place called the Desert Rose in Vegas. It's a resort. And I sent my wife and three of her friends out there. They stayed for four days. I bought uh, tickets for shows and all that stuff. And I had liquor sent to the room. And it was like, I paid her, I think maybe $350 oh, wow. for those four nights. Like, all, wow. all inclusive. And so it was way cheaper to do it like to that. To hear. Yeah. No, I'm never listening to any fucking advice <laughs> you give me on timeshares. What would be, what'll be great is he's like, you know, my wife got there, and then the instructions are like, hop the fence. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, you guys are staying. She had to sit through a presentation. <laughs> it's like, this room is beautiful. The, the room is beautiful. It's this very long room with a bunch of doors. <laughs> and yeah, you know, it was theirs for the whole weekend. Dude, <laughs> like the this, hallway. This thing yep. is so fucked up. I'll candle it. How are you going to do this to your wedding guests? Like, you're actual family and yeah they're fucked up how are you gonna have a wedding on a monday true hey that's, hey, that's the best point in the whole thing a 420 that is smoking like i do <laughs> 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 <laughs>